do you know that you can also get clinical research certificate or good clinical practice certification for a free totally that also from a valid resource and which is acceptable globally in India, US, wherever, no matter wherever you are going to work in a clinical research, this certification is acceptable. And even if you are at a job, this is valid certification. And most importantly, it is 100% free. Hello everyone, this is Sarabjit Situ, and I like to talk about clinical research, medical writing, AI and other interesting topics. So today um, I will be discussing that how you can get a good clinical uh, you know, research certificate or clinical research certification free and you can add this in your CV. What you have to do is that you just come to a browser, you just write an IDA certificate. I will leave a link for this in the description box as well for your reference. Just open this link, you know, instantly it will take you to home page. So now here if you see there are our login details, it's asking for a login detail and you need to pay a bit of attention here. Now you can create a new account. I already have an account so you can sign up here if you are a new and you have to add a certain details. What are these details? Here you add your name say um, Aman is your name, you know last name, um, anything you can add like say Singh you added yeah, role if you are a student, you are not working anywhere, just a student, you know, you simply say a researcher, you know, or if you are in some job, then you can add a job title, CRC, CRA, you know, organization, I am adding my university name. So you can also add your university name if you don't want to add any organization name. Next is country. So from which, which country you are you can add like here I am you know adding a name of my country uh, so you know it won't take much time and now NIH affiliated National Institute of Health it is in US if you are in US you are working in some university or institute which is affiliated to NIH then you can say yes otherwise we will select no. Now. As I said that accreditation of this certification is very high. Most of the ethics committee they are doing these trainings. So for some ethics committee the requirement is to you know pass this with 100% grades. But we are not selecting this you know as a student 80% or as a new researcher 80% is sufficient you select a new. Just add any uh, you know email id i am just adding a hypothetical id because i have already account here add any password so this uh, you know have to match um, what i wanted to show you you know um, that uh, you it has to match and there is a last step which is important uh, which you need to validate is uh, i'll show you in a minute i think this won't match see this is important here you see the red color uh, you know mm, account it, this is how our name will reflect on certificate if you want to confirm name you can confirm like this is correct continue to proceed with the registration but if you see that you are you know certificate name is different which happens with many of us so don't add your you know nickname just add your real name which is on certificate you want to correct you can simply select this is incorrect return to create account and modify if this is correct you can continue so this is on how you can create a account on this uh, you know page and now going back to because i am already having the account i already logged in so even once you have an account and you want to edit it you can edit it anytime so now see the module so i have selected the modules it has uh, what it all teaches you right uh, so these are the modules introduction institutional review board see all the important topics are here so learning wise also it will be very good experience informed consent confidentiality and privacy participant safety and adverse event quality assurance protocol 
how you can keep the documentation like essential document, uh, research misconduct, frauds and all that, roles and responsibilities such an important topic, recruitment and intention and investigational new drugs. So basically it is covering all the important aspects of the clinical research. So now uh, you know you can select each topic and then this is how in a module section you know you will be able to see the all the 12 mod modules so it is having a 12 modules and the overall syllabus for this is excellent you know you see that every important aspect of the clinical trial or gcp is covered so if you are going in you are selecting suppose i'm selecting second one so if you see uh, institutional review board it is covering all the important aspect like what is institutional review board what is its purpose membership so, uh, so if you are selecting this directly you can jump to top some topic directly as well suppose if you know something you want to jump it on someone see it has given you a beautiful comparison see ICH five members are needed FT five members are needed minimum one member with scientific background at least one scientific one non scientific so it is highlighting the differences as well right so like here independent sponsor to provide the uh, opinion here they are fda saying diverse race gender culture and vulnerable population so it is covering all the important aspect once you are you know done you have complete module uh, in some modules they are are scenario based situation based uh, explanations are as well and in some there are videos as well so you can you, you can do also like then one day you can completing one module other day you are completing second module so then once it is complete you can take a quiz and now here is the important part you have to score minimum 80 percent to get the certification so you have to score 80 percent minimum in all the uh, you know modules so that's how it work so like here is institutional review board this question will be very simple like clinical investigation investigator can't be a member of irb just suppose you are selecting true the purpose of irb is to safeguard right safety well-being of all human research participants definitely and irb may suspend or terminate ongoing clinical trials if a subject are not being enrolled quickly enough a drug being used in a trial is approved by FDA. Instruction from IRB are not being followed. The clinical trial sponsor conduct an audit. C seems like an appropriate. You know, you can revisit your answers as well. The site staff has prepared a postcard to be sent by past uh, to past study participants, telling them about new study that may have interested in the postcard doesn't have to be reviewed by irb it's wrong because irb is there to safeguard the right safety and well-being of the subject they shall be reviewing each and every content for an irb review to be required clinical research must be federally funded involved product regulated by fta fall under local institutional rules requiring or irb approval any any or all of the above so d seems like good so you can submit so once you press the submit button you know then you will be able to know that what is your score so let's see what is our score so one of my answer is wrong maybe the last i intentionally selected the wrong answer so one of my answer is wrong so i have scored 80 so one other responsibility part i have already completed here i have scored 100 so once you completed all the modules then you can download the certificate i hope this is very useful for you if you want me to cover other important topic uh, do let me know I'm also planning to uh, you know bring the live session but I need to take out some time for that uh, but for that you can post me questions so I can you know club all those questions in one live session and we can discuss as well thank you so much for your time